Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be testing the GeForce RTX 3070 Ti in Hellblade 2 and we have the ASUS ROG Strix model of the GPU, the overclock variant and we have 8GB of GDDR6X memory, we have resizable bar turned on and we have the latest NVIDIA driver installed, 555.85. And over here in Task Manager, we have 64 gigabytes of DDR5 memory at CL36, 6000 megahertz. And for the CPU, we have the Core i7-13700KF CPU. And finally, in MSI Afterburner, we have no overclock supplied and fan is at automatic. So let's get in straight to the game and check out the FPS. Here we go at 1080p resolution with DLA turned on at high preset. And we have motion blur turned to zero. We are not even getting that 60 FPS, not even 50 properly. High 40s and much, pretty much that's it. Seriously think you will survive. At 10 AP native max. You don't know this place. This ain't, be, ain't gonna be a good experience. You will have to use DLSS quality. The game also doesn't look that great at 10 AP. It looks stupidly bad. As I was saying in my earlier video that some games look horribly bad at 1080p res. Now I'm not gonna turn back. They're, they're whispering in my ears. I mean the game looks pretty beautiful. Look at the VRAM usage. 6.2. Very stable game as I've been saying. Whoa, what's that? What is this? Skull's verse speaks of a man called Grettir the Strong. A strange and bloody. Nice water ripple. This game has really good water and it effects this land you have and water physics. I really like it. Listen to his story, Cinema. Yeah, as I was walking on there, walking on the water, you can still see those steps, those ripples there when I leave. Turn on DLSS quality. At high preset and now we are still dropping below 60 at times and the only problem using dlss in lower resolution is gonna be the smoke effects as you can see they look very very bad pixelated at distance water still doing fine This is, this feels like a truly next gen game, honestly. Time to skip the cutscene. No further. Just refresh the counter there. Five point nine gigs of VRAM, pretty much six gigabytes. Not into this VRAM is not the problem here. It's basically the GPU, Just can't push around. anymore. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is turn DLA back on, switch it to medium preset. Wow, without DLSS, we are now actually hitting 60 FPS in medium preset. And the reason why we are using DLA for this game, because TSR looks horrible and it performs worse. Then DLA. DLA is the best one, I think. Pretty much available to you. You can't turn off A I in this game completely. He does. Indeed. You can't protect people from their own stupidity. Looks we will also try the low preset down. because low in this game is technically not low. I mean, it doesn't look like low whatsoever. No one will be able to tell that it is low. So we're getting 60 pretty much, 60 FPS average. Stop whispering in my ears, oh my goodness. Ruth told her about them. I really hate this game now, continuous whispering. Okay, finally, we're gonna use low preset. We're getting 75. 
look stronger pulling her and as i was saying like low doesn't really look like low whatsoever in this game she knows she must do so apart from the textures at the distance in the terrain just which are kind of noticeable in terms of visual but other than that up close you won't even be able to tell it's low settings water still looks great even in low 74 fps average pretty good 1% lows are fairly good 0.1 as well no stutters whatsoever you will encounter in this game all right up next at 1440p resolution with dla turned on at high preset yep pretty much expected this 37 38 fps the 3060 ti if i remember correctly was giving us 29 30 fps so not much difference there between these two so if you have a 3070 you will get it somewhere between there 33 will probably be in between there somewhere and what i did just now is i turned the speech volume or the dialogue volume to zero so we don't hear those irritating whispers continuously in terms of when i'm benchmarking it's really annoying i don't like it wish i did that before but what can we do now it's much more quiet and relaxing i would say so averaging at 36 pretty sure it's gonna drop to those high 29s because with the 3060 ti we dropped to like 25 24 even worse at some point so this can go high 29 easily i mean high 20s easily now i'm going to enable dlss quality this game also has support for frame gen only dlss 3 frame generation though so we cannot use it because it's not fsr 3 frame gen many people still don't understand and i have seen them commenting on my videos that how am i using frame gen in some titles when uh, i have a 30 series gpu when frame gen is only meant to work in 40 series gpu they don't understand that that is fsr3 frame gen from amd both are different things fsr3 frame gen and dlss3 frame gen both are two different anyway so we're getting 47 fps average with dlss quality and whenever i turn on dlss quality or dlss the vram usage drops obviously okay up next I'll keep DLSS quality on. I'll switch to medium preset. All right. With DLSS quality, if you want that sweet 60 FPS experience, you have to use medium preset with DLSS quality. And now we are touching those 60, 60 ones. And it's going to drop sometimes to 50s, which is still acceptable. If you want the smoothest experience with decent looking graphics, this is the way to go. And one thing I've noticed when using medium preset with DLSS, there is a lot of noise on our face, face as you can see. I don't know why that happens. Also, there is no way to turn off motion blur in this game, at least from the game menus. I don't know if you can do it outside the game or not. Would love to have that option. I Sorry, not motion blur, depth of field. My bad. Finally, with DLSS quality, I'm going to switch it to low, low settings. With low settings, you will straight up notice those noise are gone on the face. This was even happening on other GPUs. So artifacting noise are not, no longer visible on our face. With low preset, even on a high, they don't happen. It's only on medium. But now I don't think we're going to drop below 60 that often with this preset and DLSS quality. It's very smooth 70 above 70 averaging and this is the second chapter of the game i've only played the first one and i didn't really want it to do the benchmark on that first uh, chapter it's not it wasn't worth doing it on that maybe i should try just low settings without uh, dls quality so DLA on low. Okay, we lose around 10, 12 FPS there. 
but overall a better image you're gonna get. This is quite acceptable. The reason why I don't wanna use DLSS at all in this game, at least at 1080p and 1440p, 4K is a different story, uh, is the smoke effects. Because uh, this game has a lot of fo fog and smoke in so far I have seen from the first and second chapter. I don't know what will happen uh, further on. So they look really bad with DLSS turned on. At least at 1080p and 1440p. Anyway, let's move on to 4K resolution now, guys. All right, everyone, at 4K now, we have DLA enabled and at low preset, starting off, 30 FPS, yep. Can't expect more from this GPU at 4K. This is a low preset, by the way. So pretty much 35 average. It's, it's gonna drop there to 30 pretty much the average as we move on further up ahead. Game looks way beautiful at 4K. Look at the smokes. Without DLSS, they look still pretty good, even on low. I will turn on DLSS after this. We have to use that. Let's go ahead and trigger this cutscene. Then we will change the settings. So 34 FPS average right there. Oh my goodness. What's going on? I just skipped a cutscene and the game game's broken. <laughs> Pretty much broken at this point. Jeez, sticks forever. Come on now. Open up. Come on. Apply. Yes, we got two FPS boost. I don't know what's going on. Honestly. All right. There we go. So we just applied DLSS quality in low preset and Finally, it's working. It seems like we have to use DLSS in every setting. If low is like that, forget about medium and high at native. But the best thing about at 4K is that the smoke effects don't look bad with DLSS. As you can see, even at distance, they look pretty fine. They don't look pixelated like in 1080p and 1440p. So, oops, I forgot to turn on the counters there. Getting 50, 49s. He has pretty big eyes though. Pretty big eyeballs. So averaging 48. Okay, let's head back inside real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and use DLSS balanced. Losing in on 60. Can we get the 60? Yep, there we go. Look at the ground. Okay, 60. Uh, we're getting around mid 50s. And even at low with DLSS, those smoke effect looks perfectly fine at 4K. I wish uh, it had support for FSR 3 frame gen. With the help of that, we could have squeezed a little bit more FPS to make it slightly more smoother. At 1440p at least. At 4K, I think it would cause a lot of input delay. But for a game like this, low paced, it wouldn't make a much bigger of a difference. But the input... Excuse me, the input delay will make much of a difference. Okay, heading on in, let's try ultra performance now at low. So this is the maximum we can get, 70 FPS on low, and it looks terrible with ultra performance. Now the smoke effects have turned it into pixels. Looking horrible now. Even up at close, look at that, what is that? Not good. 
Okay, I'll try one more setting that is with medium and with DLSS performance. Okay, this looks good and should be playable somewhat. Okay, the smoke, uh, yeah, it still looks bad. At least better than ultra performance. Okay, this is still manageable. I mean, playable. Doesn't make the experience that much worse. And on top of that, we are using medium presets. So, yeah, that makes it a little bit better in terms of visuals. So, I would probably play this way at 4K. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing that disappoints me at, with medium preset. Is her face. Is I don't know what those dots are on her face. It only happens with DLSS turned on on medium preset, not on high or low. But anyways, guys, that will be it for this video. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new and haven't already done it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye-bye.